For this particular uh, uh, BTL for land, uh, we are starting with the buses because as you can imagine, buses uh, is easier to manage, the capacity is more uh, manageable and uh, there's a booking uh, system for the buses and therefore we can actually decide how many people uh, will be allowed to uh, come across based on the number of buses uh, 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 trips. Uh, they will be coming across. Uh, whereas uh, the next step is probably looking at the possibility of allowing uh, the train uh, between Singapore and Malaysia to also uh, tap on this uh, VTL land uh, access uh, so that uh, uh, Singaporeans and Malaysians can then also make use of train to travel. Uh, but these both uh, bus and train are, are more uh, manageable because uh, they have a controlled, uh, cap they, have, they have a fixed capacity. I think it will take some time before we are able to allow private vehicles uh, to travel across, and uh, it will. They will also, if we were to do that, there will also uh, be a some form of a, a booking system or registration system, so we know how many people are going across uh, every day. So I think the system has to be put in place. Uh, so the immediate focus is really on bus. The next step maybe on uh, the, on the train between the two uh, places.